The transportation sector in Nigeria is one sector that cannot be completely reviewed without mentioning some formidable names in the transport business. One of such names is Chisco Transport Nigeria Limited, owned by Chief Chidiyanyebu MFR, the chairman CEO Chisco Group of Companies. Chief Chidiyanyebu MFR, alias Chisco, as he's popularly called, is a trailblazer in the transportation business in Nigeria, with offices and terminals in almost every part of the country. The company has over the years made huge strides that have made it a household name in the transport sector in Nigeria. All thanks to the founder and CEO, Chief Chidi Anyebu MFR, the Okeyo of Amiji in the Newi Anambra State. On Saturday, 18th of August 2016, this business mughal, Chief Chidi Anyebu, marked his 60th birthday in a simple way with a Thanksgiving service that took place at the St. John Anglican Church, Ikui, Lagos, where he was joined by family members, friends, associates and well-wishers to thank God for keeping him alive. The service, which had hymnal renditions as a part of the event, also had a session of prayers and intercession for the celebrant and his family members. <laughs> Other than to thank God, thank God for his life. He has done well as a human being. You heard the priest say that he, he grew from nothing to what he is today. So it is a wonderful thing that we are here gathered, his friends, his family, to just give God the thanks, give God the glory. We wish him well, more youthful, healthy, and long life. That's what we wish him. Well, um, the chairman of Chisco has achieved a lot. At 60, he's done extremely well, and I wish him continued success and continued good example that he's already been setting to his children and to the coming generation. Example in hard work, hard work and integrity, which is his hallmark. Well, my friend is a man of substance. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, 60 years is the golden oh, yeah, age, and I'm wishing him the more years. So it's, this is a God, a, a God's intervention. You can see us at the church, started with prayers, and we're going to the orphanage. There we go and merry making. So I wish him the best of luck. The Arrow of God Orphanage, Aja, Lagos, was the next destination where Chief Chidi Anyebu, accompanied by a large retinue of family members, friends, and war wishes, paid a special visit to the orphanage. He empathized with the inmates and made special presentations in cash and gifts. Prayers were offered at the home for Chief Chidi Anyebu for the care, concern, magnanimity and philanthropic gesture which he has shown through this very act of sacrifice. In company of the children who prayed and sang soulfully and passionately for him. Sing thank you what you have done putting smiles on the faces of the needy showing us that you care we love you as we sing thank you for being our parents and no friend thank you for showing us that you dare in the good life Bless us, so we we'll give the praise over his life in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that as we, as we remember God's Lord, Amen. his name shall be remembered among the great men. Amen. We shall never run dry. Amen. 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 His company shall continue to prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. In hard times, be with him in Jesus' name. Amen. And he shall never die young in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
shall live long to see children to be in the blessing. Amen. Amen. For all those who came to see God, I bless them and bring them into the same. The birthday cake was cut as they exchanged pleasantries with him. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday, Potter. Jesus. God bless you. The top management of Aru of God Orphanage Home gave an insight into the establishment of the home, their modus operandi, and how lives have been catered for, saved and impacted on through the support of well-meaning individuals and groups who visit the home to donate items of all sorts to making sure the children are given the adequate care health-wise, emotionally, materially, financially, spiritually, academically and otherwise. He appreciated the magnanimity and kind gesture of Chief Chidi Anyebu, alias Chisco, and pleaded for more of such support from well-meaning people. A final remark was then given by Chief Chidi Anyebu Emifar, during which the very God-loving gentleman thanked the children and the management for the prayers and words of commendation. He also urged all family members, friends, associates and well-wishers who have accompanied him to the home to endeavor to show support and see the visit as an opportunity to give to the needy, render help and save lives. As I said, I've seen, I've known, and every other person that have opportunity to be here, I've seen the work that is here, which I believe this is direct to God. In future, whatever how it touches you, you will come and support the children, support the orphanage as its administrators. I and my company have seen we will later come back, whatever is our budget, we'll let you know. A happy moment of rejoicing, partying and celebration it was for Chief Anyebu as his very magnificent Ikoyi home was the venue of the reception to mark his 60th birthday. The atmosphere beamed with very lovely music by a songstress who serenaded all present with her songs as family members, friends, business partners and well-wishers enjoyed and danced to the tune and rhythm of the music. A testimony was given of him by a long-standing friend of the family, Chief Mrs. Chinyarubi, which ushered the cotton of the birthday cake. The cake was a graphic representation of his massive business empire, which includes transport, oil and gas, real estate, and the hospitality sector. Chief Chidi Anyegbu granted BOS an exclusive interview where he expressed his gratitude to God for keeping him thus far. He also appreciated his wife, children and family members for standing by him. He didn't fail to commend members of his community, friends, associates, the church and his well wishes for their immense support, especially on a remarkable day such as this. From the one I determined that anything I found myself doing, I'm going to do it well. <laughs> but what I didn't know is how God is going to bless it. But I have the belief that God will bless it. But I've seen other ones that God bless. Why can't, he, why can't I be part of them? That's the challenge I gave to myself. And it's still the challenge that I still give to people. Don't just sit down 
and say, hey, God will do it for me. God will not do it for you. You must do it for yourself. But God has actually done it for you. Because when he created you, he gave you an assignment to take care of the physical things. Why he take care of spiritual things? So you can the job is divided. You cannot live take your own portion of work and give it to God. There's no God of there's no man of God that can pray you out of it. You have your job to do. God has his own. Well, God has created us to be in control of physical things. So for you to do well, it's your own choice. You have to start. And start doing the physical thing. It's like a child, you pay to go to school. You will not go to, you won't read. You won't go to, you won't read these books. And exam, exam time, you will, will be praying that you will, be first, you will get first class. By how? You have, to, you have to first of all read and ask God to give you an understanding on what you read, which God will do for you because you have already done your own by, you know, uh, making an effort to read, which is your own physical one. There's no way God will not do his own. Because giving you an understanding to read and understand, that is God's own. But for you to sit up in the midnight to read, you know, work up yourself, discipline yourself, that is a physical one. And that is your job. He also bears his mind on pertinent national issues of concern. Oh, government will do this. Government, will, government cannot do everything. Start your own. If you do a business that employs ordinary 20 persons, you have reduced a lot of level of insecurity in the system. You have already helped government reducing a lot of unemployment that is responsible for insecurity. I can invest the one million and still be my, me and my family will be still be eating and other families will be getting other small, small things from there. At least the, 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 the multiplier effect of that money is affecting others. Instead of taking it out of Nigeria, Nigeria and establish and reach another person's economy. Well, as a businessman, this is my feeling. I'm not a politician and I can never be. From the stable of Biscuit Communications, it's hearty congratulations to Chief Chidi Anyebu as we wish him many prosperous years ahead in good health and sound mind.